Hi guys, Happy New Year, 2017 has started, we're already a couple of days in, five days, uh, but uh, I still owe you guys a review of 2016, um, and of course the most important question, how high will Bitcoin go? That's the most important question on my mind, and I bet many of you are also wondering that. Um, <clears throat> So, so I will start with the most important thing. I think that the Bitcoin rally will not go as high as most expect. Um, I've studied a little bit more in depth and um, initially I thought that, well, Bitcoin, if it would breach $1,200, the previous all-time high, it would likely go at least 3,000, possibly 5,000, maybe 10,000. Uh, but that would be absolutely the peak, of course, then you have to sell everything if you dare to trade in and out. Um, but um, but um, upon uh, looking more in depth, uh, I think uh, I'm cutting these numbers in half. And so instead of being 10,000, uh, the, the all-time high, I will sell everything, probably be, will be more like 5,000. And instead of starting to sell only at 3,000, I'll probably start selling at 2,000, a little bit below 2,000 even, um, just to be sure. Um, and I will sell pretty hard starting there. Uh, and um, so, um, why? Because um, I've noticed when I studied previous rallies that uh, the, the bull market uh, actually becomes weaker and weaker. And this is uh, very, very, goes very quickly. Uh, so, for example, the first bull market, when it went from 100 in, 20, well, in 2011, when it went for, from a couple of million to 100 million, it did times 32. Um, and I'm always looking at uh, the previous all-time highs. So the, that was about $1.00. And then it went to $32, so that's times 32. Then the second bull market uh, in 2013, it went up from um, the previous all-time high, 32, to a new all-time high of 255. That is actually um, 32, uh, 255, uh, that's only times 8, huh? so that's a lot less. But of course, then it went from not 1 million to 100 million, it went from 100 million to 1 billion. So that's 10 times bigger. Uh, and, and, and so the, 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 the bull is cut in four, the power of the bull. Uh, um, and then this, the, the, the bull after that, it went from the previous all-time high, 255, to a new all-time high of 1,200 or so. And that's times four. So cut in half. So it was cut in four, now cut in two. Um, so, uh, but indeed, this, the other, uh, the, the last one, that bull market was from not, uh, first it was from 1 to 100 million, then from 100 million to 1 billion. But that last bull there was um, uh, uh, from 255 to $1,150 was actually, starting already at 1 billion and going to 10 billion. So it was again times 10. And you see that the bull market was cut, the, the power of the bull was cut in half again. Uh, so first cut in four, then cut in half. Now we're again in the new times 10. We're not starting at 1 billion, not, but at 10 billion now. So the power, the, the bull will be less, quite certainly less powerful then times four, as in the last bull. Um, will it be cut in half? That is certainly possible. Um, uh, that's what happened uh, last time. It was cut in half. Um, if it would be cut in half now, it would not do times four, but only times two, uh, compared to the previous all-time high. So 1,250 times two is 2,300. Huh? Um, but of course, it took again um, two or three years for a new bull to form. That happened um, also in, 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 in 2011. 
uh, sorry, in, uh, in 2013. It took also two years then uh, since 2011. Uh, so those bull markets are likely stronger. So I would say that by rough estimate, it may, it has a chance to do times three, but I wouldn't count on times four uh, because we're actually again, 10 times higher in market cap. Uh, and then <clears throat> times three would be uh, not 2,500, 2, but like 3,500 or so to 3,600. Um, but you see these numbers are a lot lower. Eh? Uh, so, uh, and I think something very important to take also into account is that the fundamentals of Bitcoin have weakened strongly. There is internal conflict. The amount of transactions cannot go up for the time being. And this may be a stall uh, like a solution may take another year uh, if peop uh, parties don't agree. And so this is a serious, serious problem that will probably also weaken uh, the bull market. I do think we will get one, but it may be a lot weaker also due to this. And so then I would say, no, don't, don't count on time three, just count on times two because... And so times two uh, is only 2,000... Uh, 300, 2,500, um, and this is a lot lower than most people expect, and so very likely what will happen is that if it crashes then, well, most people will not have sold much, and so then it will correct from 2,500 back to 2,200 or so, uh, either over a long period of time or in a flash crash. Um, that's really not certain. It has done... Uh, like it could happen either way uh, and then but it will likely stay there for quite some time uh, around 1500 or so and so um the opportunity is uh, i think uh, to sell above 2000 i know this is uh, disappointing but there is uplifting news i think that the power of the bull in the altcoins will make up for the uh, that weakness uh, and so um, and so, because, again, because the fundamentals of Bitcoin have weakened, uh, 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 likely, um, and some altcoins will profit from that, altcoins in general will profit from that. And, um, and, and, and so, that's just from, for the Bitcoiners, they will likely invest more in altcoins in this bull market, but also the newcomers, like, yeah, many of them will again have this feeling like, okay, but Bitcoin has gone up so much. Is there an opportunity in altcoin? So a lot of new mar money may, f I will, as always, go to altcoins too. So, um, so, 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 and there, of course, you can see gains that are comparable to, uh, that's not times two, that is the all time high, but a lot more. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, but I do think Bitcoin in the long term, uh, even if it splits into two Bitcoins, has a, a very, very big future. But it, it probably needs to, like, but it, but it, because it has such a, such a strong brand, uh, and, um, and um, if it splits uh, into two communities, uh, two bitcoins, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Unlimited. Um, at first, it will create some probably um, uh, some 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 insecurities, but it will probably strengthen uh, both uh, Bitcoin versions in the long term. Uh, and, um, and 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 so, but this is like too much out in the future. But I do think that the, like I'm investing like the majority of my portfolio in altcoins. But the plan is to actually go back to Bitcoin, but only at the point when uh, people uh, really um, believe that certain altcoins, altcoins are the future, um, and, um, and, uh, and 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 uh, and have gone up a lot more than Bitcoin. Um, but I uh, and I think that will will already be the case when Bitcoin is around two thousand. Um, you will have seen that a, a lot of altcoins have gone up a lot. Uh, uh, more than Bitcoin, and uh, and I think that's a very good time to, of course, sell Bitcoin for fiat, but even better to sell altcoins for Bitcoin. Huh? 
um, and of course Bitcoin to fiat too. Um, so, so that's my plan uh, that I'm uh, working on. Uh, what else can I say? Watch my previous videos if you're looking for opportunities. I've discussed many altcoins in many videos. So, review of 2016. Um, it has been a great year for me. Uh, I'm very, very happy. It was the first year up again because 20, yeah, 13 was, of course, also an amazing year for me, the first in my life uh, that I did uh, really well with my investments and made up for many years of uh, losses and, and struggling. But then 2014 and 2015, I lost tons of money uh, again and I was almost back at back at like no gains. Um, but I did had, uh, of course, 5% return expressed in euro uh, after living expenses. So my capital hasn't evaporated. It's still there, but I hadn't made any money at the end of 2015. And I, I, I started to cut back uh, enormously uh, in my expenses. And um, I realized that uh, I was making serious, had been making serious mistakes. Um, so, um, uh, but uh, 2016 has been a lot better um, again, and um, and I'm very very happy with it. Of, of course, for me, it's thanks to Bitcoin. Not my altcoins investments, uh, NXT, Ardor, and Clumps have not uh, gone up um, uh, like uh, many others succeeded in doing. Um, 2016, Ethereum went up, tons, Monero went up really a lot so much that i'm starting to get scared because i just invested some in monero 10 percent of my portfolio and uh monero went up like 2200 percent so times 22 in in 2016 best performing coin probably uh an asset in the world so it's really a bad idea to invest in that from that perspective uh even if it has a great future uh, the chances are actually pretty high this will underperform strongly uh, the other coins uh, the next uh, this year 2017 because same for ethereum uh, it has gone up a lot at the start of 2016 it was 60 million now it's 600 million or 700 or 800 that's also times 12 so um, dash actually didn't go up that much um, but um, yeah, I think personally that the opportunity right now lies in small altcoins um, that have not performed well past year. And that's, of course, my bags. <laughs> I know I'm sorry I have to, uh, I'm pumping my bags again. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, but I have to admit, I don't dare to buy any more of them. Uh, but that usually uh, is a good time uh, to buy some of them. Um, but that's NXT and Ardor and, uh, and Clams. And I'm also looking at some other coins, um, Decret, uh, and also um, Biteball, uh, I really like it. Even though it's already going up a lot and it's now a market cap of 20 million. Um, this is interesting because it's a new project, of course. It's like NXT at the time, it can go up a lot and then go, years go down. Um, but I think we're still, of course, in, in the initial bull market here uh, that may go up a lot more and may profit uh, a lot from uh, the, 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 the just general cryptocurrency bull market. Same for, uh, for, for, and then there are many other coins that are interesting, of course, but uh, you can't, certainly can't study them all far from it. So I'm only like studying a few of them. Um, but I, I think that index investing here is not recommended, even though I think altcoins in general will go up a lot. Um, just like buying the top 10 or top 30, a little bit of each. <sighs> there are a lot of scams in this arena uh, peop, uh, or, or, or just not even scam, but just not serious leadership that is in it just to like dump on you and leave the project. And, and so you buy uh, some of that at 10 or 20 or, or 50 million market cap and, 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 and it will really go to zero <laughs> over the next two years. Uh, so it has happened with several projects. 
um, and um, it's really painful to be, to have such things in your portfolio. So uh, I'm thinking of bit shares, for example, is worth almost nothing now. Uh, counterparty worth almost nothing. Uh, Master coin now called Omni worth almost nothing. Uh, but there are so many others. You have Quark uh, that went to almost zero. Uh, and all these coins have been in the top uh, 10. Eh? Um, of course, Aurora coin. Um, and I'm forgetting many more. Uh, and, and, and so you buy a basket of, of, of these top 10 or top 20 or top 30 coins and, and, and uh, you know, so an investment that goes to zero, you need, uh, you need, of course, it is possible, it is a possible strategy, certain, certain of them will do times 10, even times 100, but yeah, in the top 10, that's much less, much less likely than the top 20, 30. So if you're going to do that, you probably should go to, to the top 50 or so and maybe avoid the top 10. Uh, then you can try that strategy. Um, what else? Well, um, just some personal stuff. Um, in 2016, my YouTube channel has uh, gone up a lot in growth. Um, I think you can see the the amount of times people uh, the duration of total ti total time duration people have been watching my videos that was 88 days uh, it has been going up doubling every year since 2013 like 20 days 40 days and and then 80 days in, in 2015 uh, but uh, in in 2016 it went up to uh, one year uh, and a half uh, so 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 that's cool uh, and um, and subscribers also has done times four or so it was only like 200 subscribers or so or 300 and then the last year thousand new subscribers have joined so welcome all uh, 1200 subscribers it's not a lot versus many uh, channels of course but uh, for a cryptocurrency channel it's really uh, very good um, and of course my Lambo videos have also catched on uh, and uh, one of them has 300,000 views where um, my engine blows up. That's really nice. But um, I have also started producing a lot more videos. I, I produced 60 videos last year. That's also a, a lot more than the year before. It was only 20 and 10. And so, so that's growing and I'm really enjoying it. And um, but I, I have some plans for the future that I think many of you will dig. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, um, thinking what else I can tell. Something more about crypto. Mm. No, I'm going to keep it short. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I wish you all an amazing uh, 2017 uh, and thanks thank you so much for uh, for liking uh, for having supported me uh, many of you uh, subscribed like many of the videos some some people are commenting a lot thank you so much for that um, if you don't know yet I do have also a Twitter channel I tweet quite often and it gives you uh, a lot of info about things I'm talking about so subscribe uh, to my t uh, tweet on the YouTube uh, homepage, the channel homepage. You find the links on top to my Twitter uh, and also my Instagram. I publish also pictures uh, from time to time, um, and um, you see also a link there of the NXT demo wallet. Uh, Ardor uh, as uh, will be released uh, this year, and uh, a testnet uh, it will soon come out. So. Um, yeah, maybe check out the NXT wallet if you're looking to invest in some altcoins. Um, and um, what else? Uh, yeah, do invest some in Byteball, I would say. Even though the market cap is 20 million, I think it's interesting. Um, uh, these are, this is a very new technology. Uh, it could be a total bust, but... Um, it may be the future of cryptocurrency. Uh, so, um, uh, and of course, the big what, what I'm looking for in cryptocurrency is to be able to invest in something that 
grows up a lot at those times uh, 10 times 20 times 30 and, and you have a, a chance here um, and even if you sit long enough times 100 this is going to be a lot harder in, in Bitcoin Ethereum or Monero of course it's uh, after it already went up so much this may take a much longer time than some of these small new projects uh, but of course the risk is much higher too there um, so that's it guys thanks so much for watching um, and uh, please also share some of my videos if you haven't already with some of your friends on your Facebook or Twitter I really value that highly bye